and back to it. Yeah, gotta love that day-night cycle. Kind of lets you know when I took a break, huh? Tips. Forest said you can hit many well-hidden items. It may be hard to find, so look carefully. All oh, right, we can actually use that little tool we just got, can't we? First, we're gonna do that. Because literally, it's just about all that's this thing's good for. One, two, one, two. Keep time with each other and one, two, punch. We discuss what to do before a battle. Well, I mean, clearly you're not Shadow Runners because you're assuming Plan A isn't going to fall through. Mayo and May? Not even May and Amy? Ah, Sawaddle! It's actually my favorite grass type Pokemon. Actually, not amazing. <laughs> this is um worse than you think, because as I recall, Bug actually resists fighting, or Grass does maybe. Ooh, that's bad. That is very bad. <laughs> now nah, maybe I can make this work anyway. Not very effective. That's still pretty good though. Ah, that's not good. Oof. Yeah, I believe Rage Relief actually has a high critical hit chance. Oh, that was so close. Let's see if I can't get rid of one of them at least. Not sure why a sound-based move wouldn't hit both of them, but whatever! Huzzah! Let's take your victories where you can, Snack. Rats. Alright, it's time to swap her out. Being hit by a bug-type move would still be bad, but I figured it would stick with Ray's Relief. Wow, Dolly's on his toes. Simple as best. Do us keep coming together. All oh, right, I forgot that little pain where it'll put it down every time I try to open my menu. Because good optimization. You stubborn brat! I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore! The guy with literally no name gets to start making declarations. Oh, Sandile! It's actually one that's on my band list. As I, uh, you had one myself when I played through. Downside is, um, I don't have a great answer for this, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. Who on my team has Leer? I thought I got rid of all the moves like that. Let's try that again. Maybe I can get Bubble Beam if I'm lucky. No one on my team has Focus Energy. Why is this attack so weird? Alright, nuts to it. Direct attack it is.
Oh, this is gonna get old fast. What's interesting is that actually means this rocket grunts from kind of a distance away. The area where you can find Sandile isn't for a little while yet. I mean, not like in-game or anything, but still. Torment. Subject to the torment. What does that do? Can't use the same move twice in a row. Okay. Random dumb luck, don't fail me now. Ooh, that's actually a good one. That'd be uh, super effective. All right, dumb luck saw me through after all. Come on, you're just a kid, a kid on an ego trip. And you're a bad cosplayer. Too bad, I haven't got anything. If you want to get it back, you're just going to have to look for my associates. Okay. Your terms are acceptable. Nah. All right, one sec, going to heal up. I mean, it's been like two days since I've actually done anything, but I'm sure Team Plasma hasn't gotten far. My my, you're looking for something. Yeah, I'm looking for a bonehead. I think you fit that description. You know, I find it interesting how you Team Plasma sorts just really want people to abide by your way of doing things, and then none of you are giving up your Pokémon. Just, just saying. I'll call that an eye for an eye. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, that would have been glorious had that landed. You know, I want to say something, but I did the same thing to Lenora's Pokémon, so... Yeah... Use a Dark-type move on a Dark-type Pokémon, doofus. Of course, the computer gets all five hits, because why wouldn't they? My hunches are sabotaging us, you're flat out. Was it jealous of our costume, I think she said? Sorry, empty handed. Do I look like the kind of girl who can carry heavy load? Better try somewhere else. No, it sounds like you're hiding behind dated gender stereotypes, but who am I? All right, Ernie, you're on point. Free stuff alarm is pointing me south, but I have to go around this fence first. That's a cute Pokemon. Better though. Yeah, come to think of it, I don't actually have a uh, grass type on this team, do I? I guess this is something to consider. Okay, that was a little, that was like more effective than I was expecting. Better play it overly safe and have Gogo -Go put it to sleep. It recovering health is unfortunate, but. Well, that's a, that would have been an interesting change in fate, wouldn't it? Tending to put them to sleep, but they put me to sleep instead. It's so much higher level than that, like I'm afraid to hit it with something unless it's like Well maybe I could use bubble beam and not knock it out immediately. Mm. I'll risk it. 
I think it might stay asleep for long enough for me to try my experiment out. Plunk. Okay, good. So, this should do half damage, which, given how much it's recovered by sapping, perfect. Okay, I couldn't have asked for a more ideal lineup. I mean, technically I could have, but... Well, let's not split hairs about this. Alright. That little student was added to the Pokedex. Since they prefer moist, nutrient-rich soil, they are, the areas where petal grow live are known to be good for growing plants. Especially where petal will grow, but I guess that makes sense. Its name is obviously a play on petite and lily, which just means little flower. And because I am a foolish snick who allows my friends to do things, I pulled the Tomo Bros and got this name in response. So, thanks guys. I don't know if that's supposed to be a dumb joke or just a plant reference. Why can't I just set that as my default? Wasn't that a thing in 4th gen? Whatever. So I'm like standing on it? Gotta love these touchy controls. Venipede. I have a friend who swears by this one. That actually isn't going to do a whole lot of damage. No, it's not going to do any damage because it's using Protect. Okay, this should do it. Mm, I can probably work with that as is. Alright, go, go. Do your thing. Ooh, that's actually going to hurt a little bit. A little bit, indeed. You have a super effective move on me, so you deliberately use something else. I mean, whatever. Alright. Here it goes. heal now that I have some wounded Pokemon, but it discovers what is going on around it by using the feelers on its head and tail. It is brutally aggressive. Actually, my good buddy Noodle swears by these things, so I'm going to name it for him. I don't know. Maybe we'll get around to using him in this Let's Play. Who knows? Anything's on the table except for the things that aren't. Free cash money. Alright, back to it. I patrol Pinwheel Forest every day. Battle, here's a piece of cake. You're doing such a great job patrolling, you just let the terrorist cell whip by you there. Mr. Forest. Ranger Forest. Yep. I'm, I want to make fun of your name, but it's so obvious I'm actually having a hard time coming up with something. Like, the joke should just be coming to me, but it's, they're, they're not. 
You just signed up to get knocked out, so thanks for that, I guess. Yeah, go team. What a huge mistake to lose a battle in Pinwheel Forest. You don't have to refer to this place. Ranger always has one of these. I'll give it to you. A Chesto Berry. That's very nice of you. The forest is alive. Something changes every day, so it's fun to patrol. Couldn't that be argued about any natural environment? Even unnatural environments, things still change. If you want to talk about real minutiae, so I mean... Oh, by the way, that's the obligatory mossy rock. So if you need to evolve a Pokemon that requires it. Okay, even though I can't use it, I'm still going to catch one of these things, because Swaddle is still one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. You've got to get you to evolve. No one in my party currently has Leer. I don't think they do. Oh, you know what? Ernie might. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, 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 okay. Obviously, this involves some insect versus insect combat. Maybe not insect, but at least a bug. You guys know what I mean. Whoops! I thought that was going to be neutrally effective. Now, let's try that again. And I took some time to do some grinding, because finding the Swaddle has been, well, harder than I expected. But, good news! Our little buddy here, who has been crying out to evolve for kind of a while now, is evolving! Aw, yeah! So that's an exciting prospect. That's a cute cry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stats up across the board. This is much better. Alright, I'll be back when I catch that swaddle. And at last. This Pokemon makes clothes for itself. It chews up leaves and sews them with sticky thread extruding from its mouth. Yes, I do have a nickname for him. Amazon, named for common writer Amazon. The good one, not the one on actual Amazon. Look it up, it's good stuff. Classic Toku. All right. Now that we've caught pretty much everything that shows up in this area, it's time to get on with our chase. It's gonna back me into a corner, huh? My Pokémon strong points, you'll see them if you fight. Uh, sentence fragments. If you stayed in school past third grade, you'd know about them. Well, if I got bad news for you, buddy. Of course. Nothing quite like just wasting a turn. The upside is I've gotten some good grinding in around here. Timber. Oh yeah, we're definitely swapping out. Let's see. Go, go. You're our best bet. Maybe a bit over-prepared. So you see my Pokémon strong points? No. Because I don't have any. Oh! Faced. Uh, 
Alright, seriously, this is a waste of our time. Sweet. I'll always take some free uh, healing items. Hi. Get great powers drawn from nature without opposing it. What? Get great powers drawn from nature without opposing... Yeah, that makes absolutely no sense. That's the strength of rangers. That, that literally is like the most awkward sentence I've read all day there, Carmen San Diego. Yeah, Carmen San Diego has bad taste in Pokemon. It's at a bit of a disadvantage, but... Let me see if I can't get around that. Oh, that's annoying. Eh, it's not worth it. Let's swap out. Oops. Fuzzy can take care of this. That's what you get for being illiterate. Roll to level 20. Nice. Iron defense. Eh. My current roster moves is better. You and your Pokemon make a great team. That we do. I'm rather pleased with what I have so far. This is one of the powers I got from nature. A berry. A berry is one of your powers, huh? Even the things you can't do alone if you're with someone else. That's right, we always have Pokemon around us. Isn't that great? Sure. Hi. I don't know, I'm just expecting like every lump is gonna jump out at me. Come on, let's take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Alright, next, let our Pokemon fight. So we're gonna relax, and then we're gonna force our Pokemon to battle. That makes sense. Ugh, you guys were just bound and determined to try to say that those, making those Pokemon was a good design decision. And I'm going to insist, once again, that you are mistaken. Here's a fun fact, they liked these things so much that when they introduced them to Pokemon Go, they made them continentally locked. Yeah. People thought, they legit thought that trainers would care enough about these worthless monkey Pokemon that they decided to make them on the same tier as Kangaskhan, Tauros, and Mr. Mime. In this situation, all that comes out is a sigh. Yeah, I will second that. Oops, sorry. I cared so little I tried to run. Different Pokemon you found different places. Does that mean there's a perfect place for everyone? I assume. That seems like a logical thing to conclude, don't you think? Another tiny mushroom, which can be sold for cash money. Hi, doofus. So you made it this far. I hold you here so my friends can get away. You won't. I assure you, you won't. Because you probably only have two Pokemon. You have less than two Pokemon. I don't even know what to say about that. Alright, let's wrap this up quickly then. Oh, we think we're funny now! I have the funny man over here.
And that class is why I don't use Bide. Anything that leaves you open for two turns is just bad strategy. Our rules are different from your rules. Yep, I'm here to buy time. If you don't st step lively, we're going to get away. Really? What if I just take my sweet time? You know, stop to smell the flowers and all that. Like, what if I just choose not to take you guys seriously? What are you going to do about it? Paraliz heal. Yeah, any more, like, Naruto cosplayers or something? Yeah. Blend into the wilderness and talk to Pokemon with your heart. That is a ranger. Yeah. When I played ranger, I just had a rifle and a launcher. One of those weird swords that every class can use. And... Yeah, I just jumped around and shot people. Fantasy Star 2... Fantasy Star Online 2 was so much better before the new Genesis update. They really should have just made it Fantasy Star Online 3 and just owned the fact that it was going to be so incredibly different. But I'm not here to lament about that game, I'm here to lament this one. And those stupid monkeys. Do you feel my wildness? No. Just that you're a goober. I'm sure you can fully utilize this. Peckaberry. If you put in the wilderness too well, you won't be noticed by Pokemon, let alone people. That is a problem. I think it's a problem that you should embrace wholeheartedly. Let's see. Whoops. Oh, hey! I was wondering if I was going to run into one of these. Yeah, for those who haven't played a Pokemon game in a little while, there's always the chance that you'll see grass shaking around. And if you do, in fact, see that, there's a chance for an uncommon encounter. And one of those can be Audino. If you guess that it's a pink sound-themed gimmick Pokémon that's totally not worth using, congratulations, you understand how Game Freak designs Pokémon. Now, there are some upsides. For instance, Audino's XP very rarely gets scaled downwards, meaning they're always worth it to fight them. Now, I'm just taking my time on this, Audino has relatively high defenses. And I'm really just trying to make this fight as safe for me as possible. Oh, I did not know berries could interrupt multi-hit attacks. That's... interesting. Okay, I don't want to press my luck. So, go, go! Because stupid, useless, gimmick Pokémon or not, it's a Pokémon I haven't caught yet. Hmm, it might have a higher catch rate. Nah, I'm gonna chance it. I'm to the point now where I can buy Great Balls, and it's not that huge of an impact on my budget, so... Ah, right decision. Its auditory sense is astounding. It has a radar-like ability to understand its surroundings through slight sounds. Well, obviously there's only one thing I can call that, then. There you go. Off with you now. Seems for grass knot. 
I'm not sure anything on my team can actually learn that, but hey, it's TM. The exact same step I found Daredevil in. Alright, back to it. A pursuer? Uh, haha, a kid like you be some of us? That can't be helped, but I'll take you on now. Are you gonna have more than two Pokémon? Cause if you don't, you might want to reconsider this. Oh hey, look at you having three Pokémon! I mean, one of them's a Rattata, but I mean... Deets. The more you do that, the more it just makes me want to end you. Well, that's one down. Hope your next one's a little stronger than that. Oh dear. We have the Fisherman's Magic Heart problem. If you think about what's happening here, this is actually well, excessively brutal. Ah, you're gonna throw a cool Pokémon against me. That's not... I had a Sand Dial in my last run through White. I named her Sandy. She was one of my favorites, actually. I love that Pokémon. The fact that you made me fight one makes me want to punch you more. If this keeps up, we won't save the Pokémon by stealing a skull of a long-since-deceased specimen. Take your stupid skull. How am I just gonna carry that? Like, in my back pocket? So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. Hi. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages, a mortified the skull which we went through so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the dragon skull. According to the research of our... Results of our research, this is not a legendary Pokémon for which Team Plasma is looking- It's a Dragonite! Why are you so dumb? It is completely unrelated. It will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Hey, you want to go? Let's go right now! Oh, sweet. The bug Pokémon are getting all worked up, so here I come, and what do I spy with my little eye? This super imp this important looking guy. I thought I said super important for some reason. Are you here to help your friends, whom I defeated? You de didn't do anything! I did all the heavy lifting, as usual. Snack, burr. The others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I'm one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Jet says another of the seven sages will liberate Pokémon with words alone. Yeah, even though they've literally already said the opposite. The remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokémon with full force, but the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug Pokemon user Burr and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time we shall retreat quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you're looking forward to that time as much as I. Yeah, that literally is all post-credits content. Spoiler alert. They're a speedy bunch. What do you plan to do, Burr? Are you going to chase them? Hmm. If we got back the stolen skull and if we cornered them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. Well, now. Well, I'll be waiting for your challenge at Castelia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Now, that makes one of us. Snack, you're holding the dragon so you work so hard to get back, right? Yeah, you're a problem now. Snack, thank you so much. The kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. Carefully, you say. This is a Moonstone. Some Pokemon evolve when you use this item on them. I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See you. Take care of yourself. Well, after nearly wrecking me with that ridiculous level 20 Pokemon of yours, it's the least you could have done. Anyway, I was waiting for this. All right, Gogo, it's your turn. I'll be honest, I think stone evolutions are pretty cool. 
rather than just I hit a particular level threshold, it's you get a hold of something that has some kind of impact on their species at large. Your Gorgo has evolved into Musharna. Look at you go, Gogo. Let's have a look at you. Oh, you're a bit tankier than you were before. Not bad. All right. Miracle Siege, I believe, enhances grass-type moves. And it kind of just deposits us back where Burr was standing. Because so once again, he did sweet nothing. Alright, I guess I'll take a second and talk to you people. Battle, striking first is essential. He's over here. Obtain Quick Claw. If you give it to a Pokemon to hold, maybe it will let that Pokemon use its move before its opponent can. So I gave it to you. It's called Quick Claw. Neat. Certain For people who are obsessed with certain items, you even buy your items for a lot of money. You might even be able to sell items you can't use these people, so maybe you should hang on to them. It's called Vendor Trash, and every RPG has its version of it. Sky Arrow Bridge. Because Unova is one of the few regions in the world that hasn't completely destroyed their own industrial sector. Where the bridge curves right here, I've never seen anything like it. Gotta show off that DS hardware. Yeah, it's passed for people and traffic. It's so unlike every other region in the world, Unova actually cares if its commercial sector is actually able to continue to produce in the economy. Heaven forbid we make Hayao Miyazaki cry. I'm searching for the exact center point of Sky Arrow Bridge. Good for you. I would tell him to find something more to do with his life, but I'm the one that's playing a Pokemon game on YouTube, so... Throwing stones from a glass house and all. Hi. That's Castilia City Skyline. Yep, and that's what we'll be picking up next time. We That's a lot of stairs. Alright, see you guys on the other side.